Hi, everyone, and welcome to the January 2024 Up in the Air episode. I'm your host, Clinton Evans, and we've got a great show for you today. We're going to be looking at, well, it was National Walk Your Dog Month in January, so you can imagine where I'm going with that. I'm also going to show you the go-to quadruped. I'm going to show you the Crazy Fly curriculum stuff that has dropped with the Crazy Fly, and then I'm going to issue you your January challenge in the simulator. So that's our lineup. Let's dive right in. Now, nah, January, National Walk Your Dog Month. And this post I found on LinkedIn by Joe Gilbert, I hope I pronounced that right. It's so funny to see. You have a, look at this, you have a go, I think it's a go one, walking. It's a little robotic quadruped dog walking on a site with, look at that, construction boots, I think. That is so cool. It's amazing. We're starting to see these robot dogs everywhere. And speaking of seeing them everywhere, I saw this great little clip on YouTube. So here we have, I think it's French Bulldog, and it jumps, you look at that, the, the go-to jumps away, and look how the movement of this robotic dog, or quadruped, is moving alongside with this dog. It's almost like, we do know that there's a human controlling it, but it's just so cool to see how these dogs move, and if you've done the Go One motor control course from Gabe, you'll see that how these joints actually move is some very clever mechanical engineering. It's like robotic dogs at their best. And speaking of robotic dogs at their best, have you seen the Quadruped Robotics article on the Droblox website? It's introducing you to the Go 2. It is such a cool next-gen quadruped. Look at this. This dog can do handstands. It can jump. It can flip. Honestly, I love how it's just jumping around on two legs. But I cannot believe that these Go 2s are going into schools and students today learn to program they learn about robotics using these go to well i want to say devices or vehicles so to speak because they carry the students into a great world of robotics but it's also the way that they inspire students i mean can you imagine going into class and being told hey everyone today we're going to program this robot have fun it's good. that is just so crazy cool that students get to program these robots in the classroom and speaking of crazy and cool the Crazy Fly drone has been launched and so has the curriculum. Now, it's really cool because you get to look at how you put the Crazy Fly together. Actually, there you go. So this is my little Crazy Fly. I've actually put green propellers on it. I think it's so cool. This little drone is fantastic. It's lightweight, very lightweight actually. It is so accurate. Like I've got my tape measure out when I've flown this in circles to measure the radius. Now it's all covered in the curriculum. It's very cool. There's more that's constantly getting added, and we've got some very cool announcements to make next month. So just keep your eyes peeled on that. But these crazy flies take the challenge out of deciding which drones to put in your classroom. And speaking of challenge, this month, the January challenge in the simulator, I think you're gonna really enjoy. Now, I've picked the theme of the Tundras because it's a it's one of our latest simulator environments, and I think it's so cool. Um, and it's also, the, the weather is quite fitting. It's quite cold out there. But what the challenge is for you is to fly your drone in a zigzag using logic. So that means use like an if else statement maybe, but I want your drone to fly left and then right and then left and then right, alternating. So jump onto the forum, post us your solution. I'm excited to see what everyone comes up with and we'll, I'll reveal the solution to this challenge in next month's episode. And that takes us to the end of this episode. So thank you so much for watching. Now, if you enjoyed anything or learned something new, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you never miss a up in the air episode. So until then, keep your drones in the air, your students engaged, and have fun.